Hello everyone, this is Laurel. Today we're going to be making a butterfly necklace. You will need round nose pliers, long nose pliers, curved nose pliers, and flush cut wire cutters. You will also need 20 gauge wire. I'm using gold and you will need several pieces of the wire cut to two inches and those will be for the butterfly and you'll also need to cut several pieces and those are three quarters of an inch and that will be for the connectors and for the connector what we're going to do is we're going to place a seed bead, which is about four centimeters big. And we're going to place it in between the connector. And then these will be connected to each butterfly. And the butterfly will look like this. Let's get started. Now I'll be making some more, so I will do this off screen 
and then when I come back I should have plenty more butterflies and connectors and then I will show you how to put them together okay now we're going to put together the butterflies and the connectors as you can see I'm using a watercolor palette and it's just a nice little tray to keep everything organized um, these were the two inch wires for the butterflies and this was the three quarter inch wires for the connectors so what we're going to do is we're going to take a butterfly now there's two sides to the butterfly um, this side both pieces come down straight on this side it just swirls in the back so we'll use the the two that come down straight as the front and then we will take a connector and just slightly open it to the side with your pliers You want to be careful doing it so you don't break it or the stone or the bead. And then you put it through. So I don't think I opened that one enough. Put this down for a second. Now, if you want, you can actually make this wire slightly longer if you want more area to work with. Um, I made them so that they're, the bead is tight in there. And then you just connect it on. And then carefully with your pliers, close it back up okay and I have it connected so now you can open the other side I think I'll use these pliers you can open the other side Take another butterfly. Make sure you have the front. Oops. Oh. <laughs> it's just not opening them wide enough. There. And connect your butterfly. Oops, that one fell right off. And take your pliers and close it up. There. So now you have two. And then you continue on. Take another connector. Open it up. Connect it to your butterfly. And then the bead's kind of getting in its way. Then close it up. Then open this side. Another butterfly. Make sure you have the front. Place it on. And close it up. And I'll do it one more time. And then I will show you 
when it's at its full length and I will also show you how to make the fastener for it which will probably just make a little hook with a um, jump ring to fasten it to. So we'll take another connector open it and when you do put these on make sure that you connect it to the top part of the butterfly so that it does hang nicely on your neck I'm sorry if I went off camera close it up On the other side oops okay there you go and they're all facing, oops, <laughs> uh-oh, I did something, oh, ah, this twisted a little, so if it twists, it's just where the bead is, is just take one end with your pliers and then the other end with your pliers and just kind of turn them so that they're straight. Twist it up. Not quite. There we go. Oh, and as you see, I made a mistake. I put the butterfly on backwards, so <laughs> not really hard to fix. I put the wrong side on, so open it up. Take it off, put it on the right side that it's supposed to be. I actually put it on the wrong side, so the butterfly was kind of like backwards a little bit. And then close it up. There you go. Oh. The butterflies fell off. Oh, I did not close that tight enough. Um, that's another thing. Make sure you close these so they're completely closed tight. I left a little gap and the butterfly escaped. And then as you're doing this, you can go through, and if you find one that's not completely closed, you can close it up tighter. And then just, just check every one. And just make sure so you don't lose, a, lose your necklace while you're wearing it. Or if somebody else is wearing it, they don't want to lose their, their butterfly necklace. So, okay. 
And so, let me see what's the other side. And so there it is. And I'll keep working on this and then come right back to you. I finished putting together the butterflies and the connectors. I used 31 butterflies and 30 connectors. It roughly measures out to 18 and 3 quarters. I would like to make it at least a 20 inch necklace for you know a choker length. And I've got some extra connectors and an extra butterfly. What I'm going to do next is find my front and okay. I'm going to make some jump rings. So I'm going to use a 20 gauge wire. And I'll be using this and I'm going to just wrap around a few times. So I'll take some off and wrap tightly. I'll probably use about four or five jump rings. Clip it off. Okay, that's one jump ring. I'm just going to cut this so it's flush. And cut the next one. Two. Three. Four, and this will be five. And you can just take your pliers and Actually, what I'm going to do first is take these last two connectors. I'm going to put them together. And then add them to the end necklace and then I will add the jump rings back and forth to make sure that they're tight. Oops. And I'll just add on a couple here. Oops. 
Oh, the other things are just giving me so much of a problem here. And the last jump ring, I'm going to add the butterfly, the last butterfly. And that actually just makes a nice little accent. Just hang on your the back of your neck. That'll look nice. And on this side, let's see, we will need oops, one more jump ring. So I'll just take a little off for the jump ring. And then I need one inch for the hook so one more jump ring That will go on the other end of the butterfly. And you can leave that open. And we're going to take this and make the hook. Let me see. So first you're going to want to Make a little notch. Then going to curve it around here. Just make a nice tight curve and bring it in a little bit. And on this end just going to make just a small loop now also you might want to file this down because it is a little sharp so you can just file the edges And just make sure that that's not sharp and it's a little bit rounded. Then just take it and put it on the jump ring. Close up the jump ring. Just move it back and forth slightly until they fit together and they close up. And you can push this in a little bit more. And there you go. Now you have the closure. So you can hook it onto any of these. And once it's on, you can just close it up a bit so it's a little tighter and you won't lose your necklace.
I hope you like my video. So thank you for watching. So please give me a thumbs up, press the subscribe button, press the bell to get notifications of future videos. And thank you. Thank you again. Bye-bye.